It's you liberals who have lifted them up, Howard. Paul, you conservatives make a mistake. You can't afford to strangle hope in people. Without hope, people become dangerous. No, Howard. You liberals have let them invade our society. You give them jobs, political jobs. Paul, you missed the point. It's only the smart ones we move up. <laughs> that makes it even worse. No, oh, you know, we have to move them up. If we leave a smart one in the ghetto, he might develop into a leader against us. But if we raise him up into white society, we neutralize him. He feels compelled to try to act like us. He loses his identity and uh, his racial anger, if he has it. He becomes alien to his brothers. They realize he's sold them out and they grow to hate him. He becomes worthless to them and safe for us. Uh, no, thank you. In fact, in his love for the creature comforts, except for his color, he's become one of us. Raging wind today. All praise to the Most High Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Wind is our friend. Wind is our friend. All praise to the Most High Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. See this wind blowing, this wind is representative of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is likened unto the wind. You don't know whether it goeth and whether it's been. So, let's give the Most High Yahweh a proper greeting. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Now, we're gonna go to Ezekiel chapter three. We're gonna make this very, very clear. There is no room for reinterpretation. It says what it says. This is the Most High speaking to the prophet Ezekiel. The Most High said, mortal man, eat this roll, eat this Bible, then go and speak to the people of Yisrael. Not to the world, not to the heathen, but to Yisrael. This is what we're doing today. Trying to, trying to reach the 12 tribes of Yisrael, which in this country are the so-called blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now we look like the Europeans because we mingle with them. We look like for the same reason and we look like Asians for the same reason we look like Africans for the same reason we mingled with those people because we were scattered amongst all nations so open so opened so I opened my mouth and he gave me the scroll to eat he said mortal man eat this scroll that I give you fill your stomach with it I ate it and it tasted as sweet as honey the animals I said mortal man Go to the people of Yisrael and say to them whatever I tell you to say. You see, that's why we're reading, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord means we're reading verbatim in today's vernacular. You see that? Goes on to say, I am not sending you to a nation or the Gentiles that speak difficult foreign language, but to the Israelites, but to the Israelites. You see that? Christian pastor, your Catholic priest, and your Muslim imam can, can have nothing against the Israelites out here with this word, with this Bible. You have no chance of coming and running the lies by the Israelites. It cannot happen. We're out here telling you the truth of this Bible, whether you like it, understand it or not. But I have a personal saying, a personal quote. You may not like it, but you need to understand. And once you understand, you will like it. And that's exactly what will happen when the Most High puts His Holy Spirit upon you. You see, a lot of people claim to have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does not make you hop around and fall around, let your dress go over your head. That's not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does not make you run around the church. That is a lie. The Holy Spirit does not make you cry uh, in so-called uh, elation. That's not, that's not true. That is a lie, you see? And I don't care what you think it is a lie the bible says in isaiah chapter one cry aloud and spare not so we are not sparing anything you see that all praise the most high yahweh by shem yahushai you see the lord said that he's going to make our foreheads hard 
out against your forehead because he knows you're stiff neck and hard hearted. He knows you're, you're stubborn people. He knows you blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans very well. He warned us, he warned the, the prophets of the Lord that when you went out, that this is what the people were going to be like. There's just people going to be denying, people going to be outright denying, people going to be um, fake approving, pretending they agree with you when they actually don't. You see, but you cannot fool the Lord Yahweh, or the only God said Yahweh Shai Mashiach, nor the angels of the Lord that record everything you say, do, and think. You understand that? This is what the Lord has told us. These are secrets of the Bible, you see. Because the world doesn't believe the truth. The world believes a bunch of lies. But we're here because the Lord sent us to tell you the truth. So today's subject is I have a warning for all of the world celebrities. I got a warning. It's time to put this out. Because we you know most of the Israelites have been doing this in a, um, from the perspective of the uh, viewer of the celebrities. Today, you got an Israelite before you that's going to come directly against these celebrities. All of your actors and actresses, all of your sports figures, all your so-called so social media celebrities, all your so-called reality stars, they ain't stars, they ain't no doggone star, they ain't no Hollywood stars. You see, they fooled and tricked you. That's what they did. The definition of being fooled is when you've been tricked, deceived, or cheated. You see that? And what happened is the Hollywood people, the Jewish, I'm going to call them out. We call out names here. The Jewish are the ones that created Hollywood. They call it Hollywood. I call it Hollywood. And what they did is they said that we are giving you new gods. All right? These actors and actresses at that time. Then they took over the bulk of media. Media includes your sports. You see that? So these are the, they, hey, they are the ones hired. Uh, do, do, they're the ones doing the hiring of your people, your so, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, to create, to put them in high position, to put them in places where you get to worship them. Why do you spend so much time on social media wondering what celebrity is doing, what they're eating, what they look like, what they're dressed in, how much money they made? Why do you spend so much time doing that? It's a waste of time. It doesn't help you. It doesn't make you any richer. <laughs> it doesn't make you any wealthier, does it? No, it doesn't. It's just a waste of time. And guess what? Time is something you can never get back. You see? All those little miscellaneous, uh, salacious facts you have in your head about these celebrities, it doesn't mean anything. It's, it, it cannot save you. It doesn't, it doesn't give you the knowledge of salvation. Okay? All right. Yeah, it kind of gets me roared up. Because too many of our people worship not, they don't worship the true God, the creator. They worship people they can see on earth, those that have celebrities. Celebrity just means you have name recognition. Somebody says their name, and you recognize it. That's all it means. See, if I told you my name, you're like, oh, he's just nobody. That's right, I'm going to stay nobody. I'm happy to be nobody. Because the Bible says that the Israelites are going to receive fame and glory in the kingdom, you see? We're going to be the ones that everybody knows. And they got to be about knows, they're going to bow down. You see? I like it. We got to bow down now to them. Okay? That's what I'm waiting for. I want what the Lord wants. I don't want, I don't want all riches and fame on this side. You can have it. You can have it. And guess what? Those that provide that, that deception, they're going to be judged. The Jewish people are going to be judged. Anybody connected to it, anybody that supports it, anybody who doesn't dismiss it, they're going to be judged. Okay? So, this is a warning to the celebrities to the celebrities because you don't want to come back to the ghetto. You don't want to go back to a nine to five. You want to, like actors and actresses, you want to pretend to be somebody for the rest of your life. That is, that is not contributing to society, okay? Pretending to be someone else for a living is not contributing to society. Do you understand that? Look, everybody likes uh, some form of entertainment. That's okay and fine. But the problem is, is they become your, they can become your gods. They become something you worship. That is the problem. We're going to explain how subtle that worship, that the leading up to that worship can be so that you can actually see it. All right? So, let's get into it. Now, these are some of the um, mistakes that these celebrities are making 
people around the world do, okay? Some of the mistakes. Remember, this is from the perspective of warning these celebrities, okay? We're providing a correction to these celebrities. Because they think that, you know, some of them to the point that they don't even want their picture taken unless you provide them some money for the picture. That is ridiculous. You see, that's how vain these people are. This is how proud and conceited they are. And they are no better than me or you. No better at all. Okay, so this is what these uh, celebrities are doing. Now, now you might have the argument. Some people say, well, these celebrities don't all want to be worshipped. Well, I can get, I can add, I will tell you this. <laughs> if you see them in public and somebody comes up to them giving them the woo-woo, crying all over, falling in and stuff, they will accept it. They don't, they don't uh, when you show me one celebrity where they, where they said stop doing that, show me one. There isn't one, okay? That's, a, that's just a pipe dream that they're gonna, that they're gonna not want that worship. Because it's, it's um, what is it, what's that word? It's called, uh, <laughs> it's kind of self-fulfilling, okay? It's self-fulfilling. You see, it's part of the program of being, having name recognition, is that you're gonna have people falling all over you. That's what it is. So now, this is, this is what the celebrities do. They make our people do. Okay, because these people are, matter, matter of fact, I can say this with um, not 100% certainty, but doggone practically near 99.9% probably, that the unrepentant army of so-called black celebrities, that, that means they have name recognition, on either side of the debate against the truth of the matter are getting the most media coverage to spread their benefactor's narrative and mind control of our people. You see that? That is what is happening. How do you know? Because now you have, you got a grown man who's a, a retired football player getting into gossip, okay? His name is Shannon Sharp, Sharp, okay? And he's got these black celebrities talking about other black celebrities. Who cares? It doesn't make anybody any difference. They aren't doing anything in your life and my life. Heck, they aren't even, practically aren't even doing anything for their own life. Guess what? Newsflash, there's no retirement when you're an actor or actress, there's no retirement fund. You know, Hollywood doesn't doesn't give you a 401k as an actor or actress. That doesn't happen. And it doesn't happen with any celebrity. You understand? Now you might have the argument in sports they have investors. Yes. Because in sports, you have people set aside and they are mostly the Jewish that are gonna say, hey, give me your money, I'll invest your money, and make money for you. But how many of those sports figures have also ended up with no money? A lot of them. Okay, a lot of them. Okay? So, and they get, hey, they don't think that they're doing it for free out of kindness of their own heart. They are doing, they are do, providing that financial service because they're making money off of that professional athlete. Okay, or anybody else that they manage money for. If an actor or actress was smart, they would do the same thing as the athletes do and, and invest their money. But you don't necessarily have to have a professional a uh, Jewish person is involved in finance to do that. You can do that yourself. Gain the knowledge and do it yourself and you save yourself probably millions in that in the, in the uh, salary category they're in. They probably save millions in fees, okay? So again, there is no 401k as an actor or actress. There's no 401k for your uh, social media celebrities. There's no 401k for your reality TV stars that are not stars, okay? There's no, there's no 401k for that. This is the reason why it, this, this, it's, a, it's a continual cycle of the use of that individual for propaganda. We just talked about it, to spread the benefactor's narrative and mind control of the people, you see? into it, they're okay? Another thing that celebrities do, all, and I mean every single last one of them, all, of, all your celebrities are in, also employed and paid by the same nation or tribe of the Europeans. That tribe is called the Jewish, okay? Jewish means like or pertaining to the Jews. Doesn't mean they are, all right? It means like or pertaining to them. They are, they, they are involved in customs of the Israelites. That's what they're doing. They're pretending to be the chosen people of the Lord. Why is it that they all look the same? Why, look, how is it possible 
that the Lord said the Israelites should be scattered into all nations amongst the Arabs, the Asians, Europeans, Africans. How is it that the Israelites are only Europeans? Why, how, that is impossible. But this is the trick that they have played on the world. The fake Jews in the land, the state of Israel, and that's why they, hey, they call it a state. The Bible says it's the nation of Yisrael. You see that? You see the difference? They developed a state for another European nation to doggone um, colonize in the land of the Arabs. That's what they did. That's just the facts. All right, facts are facts. Okay, so they are employed by these Europeans of the tribe of the, the Jewish, the Amalekites, all right, predominantly by those who call themselves Jewish. Now, do they use people in that little ladder, other people, other nations? Will they use the so-called black, Hispanic, Native American? Yes, they will. Of course they will, because that's part of the deception. That's just what it is. Everybody's making money, but you got to figure out who's at the top. And right now, it's very hard to figure out who's at the top. We know that all the media has been consolidated to three organizations. All right? It used to be thousands. Then it went to hundreds. Now it's only three. And now you can't even find out who the owner of those three organizations are today. You can't even find out. They have hidden. And if you're hiding something, you're doing something wrong. You understand that? If you're hiding something, you're doing something wrong. Okay, now, what these celebrities are making this, this black celebrity army do is speak up for their employers in order to show their fealty. You understand that? They're subservient to the rich, the so-called elites. Elites are just the people who have a lot of money. That's all the elites mean. It doesn't mean they're better than you. It just means they have more money than you. And, and, and that was a strategic, that was a strategic process to do that. It started with shifting manufacturing overseas and out of the United States of America. It started with that. All right, they got cheaper labor overseas. They didn't want to pay you, the, you, you here in America any money. And then they consolidated with uh, tax, uh, tax loopholes. They got tax loopholes all in America. Guess what? America would not have the $30 trillion, trillion dollar debt if they properly tax businesses and these rich businesses in America, like Amazon, all right? If they tax them appropriately, they would not have a deficit, okay? They wouldn't have one. They would have a surplus. But because of how the Europeans like to run their business and make other people rich, and your elected officials are the same way. I talked about that a few months ago. How, why is it your elected officials can, can come here poor and, and in a couple of years, they're a millionaire. Why? Because the campaigns are fed by these elites, by these people that have money. And then they pass laws to support businesses to, so the businesses get more deductions. I'm going to give you a hint. Your celebrities, when they have a foundation, a foundation you think is to help provide some sort of service or product to the community. They do that, but under the guise of saving themselves money. That's what a foundation is for. A foundation is not to dispute, uh, distribute money it's for, for a celebrity to lose it, or the uh, foundation or to lose it, but we're talking about celebrities today. All right? So the Calvin Brothers Foundation is made so that he keeps more money in his pocket. You, don't, you gotta understand how business works. All right, they get all kinds of deductions. You think when, when these athletes or when these people have foundations, these celebrities have foundations, that the things that they provide are not tax deductible? They are 100% tax deductible. 100%. And then they can get grants from the federal government. Okay, you, if you haven't heard, <laughs> let's talk about one wealthy person. He's autistic, all right? He's on the autism spectrum. His name is Elon Musk. And I'm going to tell you about autism because I have a son with autism. This man is not totally in control of what he's doing. His, mama, his mother supposedly is always around him. I believe his mother is the puppet master. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. I could care less. But what I want to point out to you is that the government of this country has stopped a $56 billion reimbursement to Elon Musk. You hear that? $56 billion tax credit to Elon Musk. He's going to get the money eventually, all right? They're just putting a hold on it, playing around, all right? They're just playing around. He's going to get the money. Just like Jeff Bezos 
uh, gets, uh, I believe it was 10 billion or 12 billion last year. And you had the likes of uh, Bernie Sanders brought that out. You see, these people don't, are not looking out for you. They're looking out for themselves. Let's look at Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey said that he would play a monkey for money, okay? He'll do anything for money. He'll do anything for money. There's a bunch of, I guess what it is, is certain black people, Hispanic people, Latino people have a price, okay? They have a price. And they're willing to do certain things, certain things for money. Right? And one of them is to sell out their people, to influence their people with these narratives that, that are driving you away from the Lord. None of them are driving you to the Lord. They're driving you away from the Lord, you see? You see, they're weed heads. They're weed heads. So you think that because they're smoking weed, you should smoke some weed. No, you should not smoke drugs. You should not take drugs. No, you should not. You are defeating and killing yourself slowly. That's what you're doing. When you smoke and smoke and choke cigarettes, that's what you're doing. You're killing yourself slowly. When you when you and smoke a cigars, you're killing yourself slowly. Of course, you know it's quite obvious fentanyl is a killer. It's obvious heroin is a killer. You just don't think that the other drugs are, and they are. Just because these celebrities are doing these things, please do not take on their bad, wicked habits. Please don't do it. Okay, so, going on here. These people have brought out the, the black celebrities to show their fealty, their loyalty, especially uh, loyalty to, loyalty, fealty means loyalty to a king or a queen, but not to a queen, it's actually a king. They always gotta add something up in there. Because right, they do that a lot of women worship here in, in America. And they try to spread that crap around the world. Okay, because silence is consent, okay, because silence is consent, they do this in order to keep their status and money in this society. That's why your celebrities do it. That's why they continue to do it. Like I said, there's no 401 retirement program for your celebrities. It doesn't exist. These people are not smart enough to save their money so they don't have to keep kissing behind. Okay? and selling out their people, and not being able to speak their mind and speak their opinions in support of their people. Okay, they, they do not want to follow the example of our forefather Moses. Now this is what Moses did. This is out of Hebrews 11, verse 24 to 27. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High and to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Hamashiach greater riches than the treasures of Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense or payment of the reward by of the reward that he would get. Okay, by faith he forsook Egypt. Okay, by faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible, who is the Most High Yahweh. And it actually was how much that Yahweh shot. Okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you something about trusting these celebrities. We talked about that, don't, don't trust them. We talked about it. It says, I'm gonna read it here, all right? Trusting black celebrities for your information, that is, how and what to think, ways to live your life, watching their every move, fostering a desire to be like them, and have what they have is idolatry. Do you understand that? All of those things are idolatry. That's the subtle way they draw you in to idolatry. Worshiping someone or something other than the Most High. That is what idolatry is. That's the definition of idolatry. Okay? The truth be told, these celebrities are given to our people to wander after. W-A-N-D-E-R. Wander is a bad thing. Not W-O. W-A. Okay? That is a very bad thing. For the only reason that our people do this is because these appointed persons, these celebrities, those with name recognition, we are told that they are wealthy and or are popular and should be worshipped. Okay? And I'm going to prove that to you in a few minutes right here. I'm going to prove that to you. There's a movie back in the 70s called Trick Baby. The, the movie is about a, um, a man who looks like he is European, but he's actually a Negro, and he infiltrates European society, the wealthy. And what he does is he finds out at a dinner party how they use 
specifically black people, okay? Specifically black people. Listen to this. It's you liberals who have lifted them up, Howard. Paul, you conservatives make a mistake. You can't afford to strangle hope in people. Without hope, people become dangerous. No, Howard, you liberals have let them invade our society. You give them jobs, political jobs. Paul, you missed the point. It's only the smart ones we move up. <laughs> that makes it even worse. No, no, we have to move them up. If we leave a smart one in the ghetto, he might develop into a leader against us. But if we raise him up into white society, we neutralize him. He feels compelled to try to act like us. He loses his identity and uh, his racial anger, if he has it. He becomes alien to his brothers. They realize he sold them out and they grow to hate him. He becomes worthless to them and safe for us. Uh, no, thank you. In fact, in his love for the creature comforts, except for his color, he's become one of us. You hear that? That's what your celebrities are. They become somewhat like the European man, the Jewish man that hires them to manipulate the minds of the people and get them to worship them instead of the Most High Yahweh. All right, now what I'm going to do in the post-production at home offers me everything. I mean, uh, home is the acronym. Heaven, always me everything, is a YouTube channel. It would be there. Actually, it's going to be on El Yisrael. El Yisrael. E-L-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. It's going to be on there. Now, the Lord God is showing the world the truth. This is what he's doing. This is what he sent me out here today to do. Okay? And this is Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai shall, shall send, so like it, shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in the want, I'm sorry, so like it, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. You see? And so we have, well, the destruction is not that we die, the destruction is our mental capacity. You see, before, for hundreds of years, we could not read or write. They didn't want us reading or writing, okay? Then we came out of that, he had all other kinds of methods, like providing financial assistance to so-called single mothers and enforcing the, the fact that they did not want a man in the, in the house with the woman, the black woman, you see? That's what happened. Today, there is some financial support for a married couple. But for decades, it was only available to single black women, okay? Then, of course, it branched out to other, other nations of women as well after that. But the target was the so-called black woman. Because you, many of you, that is, not all of you, many of you are the chosen people of the Lord, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, known as the Israelites. Now, who is who in the Bible? We need to talk about that. Now, you need to answer, answer these questions for yourself. These are rhetorical questions. Who are the people that presently dominate the world? Who are the people that presently dominate the world? Who is it that has the European Union? Who is it that has the uh, Atlantic Treaty Organization on both hemispheres, on the West Hemisphere and the East Hemisphere? Who is it that has the Doctrine of Discovery? Do you know what that is? because it still exists today. This is the reason why they will not return lands to the Native Americans, because they have a doctrine of discovery. That's the reason why they're gonna put Native Americans on reservations. They're not going back to the ancestral lands, the ancient lands, they're not gonna get that. Okay, who is it that colonized all over the world? Who did that? Who colonized all over the world? Who makes countries that resist them to make agreements to pay restitution or tribute, this is called tribute in the word, for the loss of anticipated revenue for freed slaves for hundreds of years. You see, Haiti had to pay back the French for the, the, uh, the fight that the Haitians did to get rid of slavery, all right? And then they held that island country in uh, discontent and hatred and made them dirt poor. doing the same thing every single place they go. But they elevated their, their little uh, strategy. Now they use the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank to, to, grant, uh, to make grants for uh, different types of so-called aid packages. 
All right, and that's how they get into these countries today. And of course, they have the uh, the Federal Reserve or the Re World Reserve Bank. They're trying to get in every country. Now, to my knowledge, there's uh, maybe two or three countries that there is not a reserve bank in. But they're gonna get it because this is Esau Edom and he's fulfilling the prophecy of Genesis chapter 27, verses 37 to 40. Okay, who gives you, who, en who enslaved your people, you so-called blacks, for hundreds of years, and the Latinos and Hispanics, all right, since 1490, not 1492, that should be even before that. Who did it? The Europeans did it. The Spanish, the French, and the British, they did it. And the African soldier into slavery as well. The Arab soldier into slavery as well under, under uh, Islam, okay? So who gives you the right to participate in their city, state, and federal governments? Who does that? Because your participation is because they have a law that says you can't. It's not because you're a citizen of this country, because you're actually a denizen. You need to look up the word. D-E-N-I-Z-E-N, -E -E denizen. That's what your so-called blacks are. They got laws against you. That's the reason why you have a Voting Rights Act, because they don't want you to vote. They give you permission to vote. And voting is a, is a um, means you worship someone. You're giving yourself over to someone. So that you can understand. Now, this is Deuteronomy 2848. Again, reiterating this again. Therefore, shalt thou, the Israelites, serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he, that those enemies, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Destroyed you in your mind. He's got control. He, ha he can influence you almost any way he can with his media. His media, his laws, this is what he does. You see? Okay, yet, after knowing this and reading this, our people still refuse to admit the obvious truth of who is controlling their condition and that our God is angry with us and gave us over to the heathen and Gentiles. Okay, for thousands of years. This has been over 2,700 years the Israelites have been out of the land. Okay, this is nothing new. It ain't just the last 400 years. It's over 2,700 years that we have been kicked out of our land. Okay, and why? As punishment for our forefathers' disobedience. That's why you're in the present condition you're in. You wanna know why blacks are the uh, last high first fire? You wanna know why they manipulated the black woman to be in social media and sing nasty rap songs? Why? And anybody saying it's okay, you're gonna you're going get punished with them. You understand that? If you don't call it silence is consent, if you don't call it out, you're gonna be punished with them. Now, let's get into it. Exodus chapter 24, verses three to eight. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, because we're talking about our people disobedient, right? And all the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice and said, all the words which the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, has said we will do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and rose early in the morning, and built an altar under the hill, and 12 pillars representing the 12 tribes of Israel, according to the 12 tribes of Israel, and he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant, and now today, this is the book of the covenant right here, the Bible, and read in the audience of the people, just like we're doing right now, reading in the audience of the people, in the places, uh, uh, in the marketplaces, and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord have made with you concerning all these words. Now, I'm going to show you how, how this is a sin, how worshiping these, paying all this attention, having all these little miscellaneous facts in your head about celebrities is a sin. Okay, it is in Exodus chapter, chapter 20, verse 17. This is one of the Ten Commandments, okay? This is one of the Ten Commandments. So it, it reads, it is the Tenth Commandment, as a matter of fact. Okay, it is the last commandment. And it reads, this is Exodus 20 and 17. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, 
Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. You hear that? The big point is, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. But you got all of these TV shows. You know what? The other thing they do to our people? They like to get to our people through comedy. They love to be entertained by so-called black people. That's why the most success, oh, oh not, it's not even success. <laughs> so that's a loose term, okay? That's the reason why they pay the most to your so-called black celebrities and want black, black uh, celebrity comedians to be your leaders, you see? They ain't no celebrity my leader. They can be your leader, but they'll never be my leader. Ain't no comedian my leader. They can be your leader, but they'll never be my leader, okay? That is ridiculous. So, what is a neighbor? The neighbor is identified in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17 to 18. Thou shalt not hate thy brother, hint, hint, thy brother, in thine heart, in thy mind. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, thy neighbor, hint, hint, and not suffer sin upon him. You're supposed to tell him when he's doing wrong to keep him from sin. 18, thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, hint, hint against the children of thy people. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So, your neighbor is your brother and is the children of thy people. People, okay? Your neighbor is your brother and the children of thy people in accordance with Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17 to 18. Now, a lot of people, living vicariously, that is, experienced as a result of watching, listening to, or reading about these activities of other people, rather than doing the activities yourself, all right? This is what is being presented to our people as a temptation to sin, and many are falling prey by the means of all forms of social media. This is what is called social conditioning. This is what's called social conditioning. It is how the dominant society, the Europeans, and the Jewish that own all the media gets you and the world to accept what they are offering to their benefit for either mind control or financial gain. And it's always about the money. It is always about the money, okay? This is what I was referring to earlier when I said, truth be told, these celebrities are given to our people to wander after. The only reason that our people do this is because these appointed persons, these celebrities, these celebrities, those with name recognition, that's all it is. You recognize their name. We are told that they are wealthy and or popular and should be worshipped. That's why you do it. That's why you spend so much time on social media wandering after them. You're programmed to do it. It's the matrix. Right? Celebrities are also used for social conditioning, also known as psychology experiments. All right, and here's an example. How likely are people to conform to the opinions of a group? This is what they found out. This conformity experiment investigates the impact of group pressure on individual behavior. Now that's a twofold thing, because it keeps the celebrities in line, because if they go against the narrative that they told to, 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 uh, to spouse, then they'll discipline them. This is the reason why Kanye West supposedly was worth a billion, and then in 24 hours, the white man said you're only worth 400 million. You see, he never had a billion in the first place. He never had a billion. You can't take what's in your pocket. You can't take what's in the bank. He never had the money. He was never a billionaire. The next one, next example. The particular group, the black celebrities, fall in line to their benefactors based on what happens to those that have not obeyed their benefactors. You see, every time somebody goes against the narrative, they say something that, that their, their owners don't want said, then they get disciplined, okay? You get canceled, you get put on the shelf, you can't make a movie, you can't make a record. You know, you can't play a game, you're fined. <laughs> Y'all do not understand what the hell is going on, okay? Now, and the opposite is true too. There's a, there's a uh, experiment called the Mil Milgram Social Psychology Experiment, and we're gonna talk about it. The Milgram Social Psychology Experiment. Now. The Milgram Experiment, led by well-known psychologist Stanley Milgram in the 1960s, aimed to test people's obedience to authority. The results of Milgram's psychology 
social psychology experiment, sometimes known as the Mural Obedience Study, continued to be both thought-provoking and controversial. The Mural Experiment discovered people are much more obedient than you might think, than you might imagine. Now listen to this. This is the statistic. Fully three, so I can't, whew, I'm sorry. Fully, 63% of the participants continued administering what appeared to be electric shocks to another person while they screamed in agony, begged to stop, and eventually fell silent just because they were told to do so. Now, if you think that you can get somebody to do that, if you're so-called, that's what your celebrities are doing. Okay, they get told, hey, we're gonna give you more, a um, little more cash. All right, we're gonna make, we're gonna put you in another film. All right, we're gonna put you in the newspapers, the magazines. We're gonna, we're gonna make you a so-called model, take pictures. You see, that is the trick. And guess what? Your celebrities love it. They don't hate it. They love it. It is self-fulfilling. Now, does that one thing bring to mind a recent psychology study with the virus pestilence? <laughs> Let me read that again. Does that last one bring to mind a recent psychology test with the virus pestilence? It's something to think about, because it was fear all over the earth for almost three years. Now, I'm gonna read Proverbs chapter 10, verse 24. The fear of the wicked it shall come upon him. That is, the wicked here can be the celebrity employers. But the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Those that are following law, such and commandments, in the faith of Moshe, Yahweh Shai. Let's say that again. Those following, those that are righteous are those that are following law, such and commandments of the Most High, Yahweh, in the faith of Moshe, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because righteousness is in Deuteronomy chapter 6 and 25. It shall be your righteousness if you observe to obey the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Lord thy God. That's what the Bible says. Now, here's what's happening. The celebrities, the celebrities fear losing their name recognition status and or wealth and return to their former social economic status. They don't want to go back to the hood. They don't want to go back to where they came from. They don't want to get a nine to five. They want to pretend to be someone else they want to do, they want to sing, which is easy. That's not hard to sing. It's not hard to play basketball or any other sport. It's not hard to do that. Okay, it's not hard. Okay, the, that fear makes them servants to their benefactors and they do as they are commanded. For example, they delete social media posts, give apologies, they take away lucrative endorsements, they suspend, uh, they suspend those in sports, as they are paid by contract on a per game basis, thereby losing expected income, and have to donate large sums of money to where they are told to pay a penitence. Okay? The act of feeling or showing sorrow or regret for having done wrong. And where where are they having you pay this penitence? To some sort of Jewish organization. Why are you doing that? Why you gotta do that? Okay? And let's not forget the latest distraction by means of debate on anti-Semitism, okay? That these celebrities are, are commanded to be re-educated by the 1948ers, those Jewish, who are also European. They're the tribes of the Europeans, okay? The tribes of Esau Edom. Okay, you gotta understand that everything is a test. The Lord is testing you, and he's testing these Gentiles. Everything is a test. Okay, and everything you go through is either a test, a trial, or a judgment, okay? The mystery has been revealed that the Most High, so like it, th this mystery has been revealed by the Most High to his people, not the world of the Gentiles, you see? This is the reason why you're not gonna have the Jewish man telling you that hey, he's using uh, people, your people to be celebrities to get you to do things, uh, to get you to buy some products, to get you to think a certain way. He's not gonna come out and say that, but the Lord sent his prophets out here to tell you the truth, okay? Deuteronomy 29 and 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord Yahweh, our power. But those things which are revealed unto us, the Israelites, and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Now, the scriptures concerning the rich. You need to understand the scriptures to concern the rich. This is the counsel of the Lord Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai. Psalm 37, 16. 
a little that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked. Let's read that again. The little that a righteous man have, when you're obedient to the laws of the commandments and the faith of Moshe Gawashad, is better than the riches of many people who are wicked. Okay? They're wealthy and they're wicked. I'd rather not be so. Now, this is Psalm 39 and 6. Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He heapeth up riches and knoweth not who shall gather them. This is talking about the fact that you're going to die and your money's going to be left to someone else. So what, you're wealthy? You can't take it to the you can't take it to heaven. You see, the Egyptians tried that. The Egyptians tried to bury their wealth in, in their little pyramids and their um, uh, sarcophagus. All right. They even, they even took people. They wanted souls in the afterlife. And they were, that is not how it works. Okay, this is Psalm 49, 6, and then we're going to jump to 16, 17. This is verse 6. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in a the multitude of their riches, jumping down to 16, be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. Verse 17. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. You see, the Egyptians tried that, and they found out it does not work. We're going to hit, hit with these scriptures. This is what's most important. This is what we Israelites do. We bring out the word of the Lord. We're going to hit this. Psalm 73 and 3, and then we're going to jump down to verse 12. For I was envious at the foolish. All right, we're talking about these celebrities. I'm putting them in the foolish category because they've been tricked, deceived, or cheated, and they're trying to trick and deceive and cheat you. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked, these are they that give our people celebrity or name recognition and or wealth. Verse 12, behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in this world. They increase in riches. You hear that? Well, let's read it again. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in this world. They increase in riches. You see that? Yes, prayerfully you do. Proverbs 14 and 20. The poor is hated even of his own neighbors, own people. But the rich have many friends, all right? They have friends from all nations. But you know what? You let one of these celebrities go back to the ghetto, lose out, and people shame them. I've seen it, and, and you shouldn't. They, they escape what could be certain death in most cases. If they continue down that path, that was the Lord's judgment to help them out. But they didn't see that that's being the case. Proverbs 22, Proverbs 18 and 23. The poor useth entreaties or requests, but the rich answereth roughly. You see that? That's just like an example of that is having the uh, maid services and whatnot. And these wealthy people, how they speak to the maid or the cook. Very, very ag ag aggressive, ag abrasive, all right? But the poor uses entreaties. He has to ask. All right? He has to be humble. All right, Proverbs 22 and 7. The rich, this is important, the rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower, someone who is less wealthy, is servant to the lender. And that is certainly true at practically with everyone who has a mortgage, <laughs> a car payment. All right? We are servant to the lender because they'll come and get it. They'll come and take it away. Proverbs 22 and 16. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Now, the example of this is Oprah, overweight Winfrey, and Dwayne, the steroid Johnson. Okay? Now, they were in Hawaii, and they're going to ask poor people from all around the world to donate money to some sort of foundation or program they have out there that the federal government has already taken care of. And they said, hey, we're going to put in 10 million. We're not trying to please the people. The hell you're not. You put the 10 million in so that you could please the people. That's what you did. You see? The federal government is going to take care of all of those people out there. They don't need no celebrities collecting money from the poor. They have it between Oprah, overweight Winfrey, and Dwayne Steroids Johnson. They have enough money to, to, to pay off anything that those people in Hawaii need it done. A whole new house, furniture, groceries, everything. Okay. All right, so. 
right, let's read that again, okay? Um, Proverbs 22 16. He that oppresseth the poor increases his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. You'll come to need. Okay, the benefactors take our people and raise them up and up in their societies. Therefore, they are also the oppressors in the case of the celebrity, okay? They oppress the celebrity, and then the celebrity oppresses you. That's how it works, okay? There's no way that you should have to give money, anybody in America, to a rich person in order to have a social program in this country. If that person wants to be benevolent, they will give up their money. They don't need you to do it. It makes no sense for you to, for them to have all of that wealth and not use it for the good of society and then take from the people who make much less money and some of the people give it all they got, all they have. Don't do it. Just like the Christian church tomorrow, you're gonna do the same thing in the Christian church. If that pastor, does, if that pastor, male, I don't care about these women, there ain't no such thing as a woman pastor. If these male pastors don't have a job, it is not their job to preach the word to you. You understand that? There's no collection thing up here because the gospel is not to be sold. And they're selling you the gospel. Not in addition to that, they have the nerve to write books about the Bible to tell you what the Bible says. Israelites do this all day, every day for no money because we're not supposed to charge you. Why are you paying your Christian pastor to do it? Why are you paying your Roman Catholic priest to do it? Why are you paying your Muslim imam to do that? You're being fleeced. Okay? You do not have to submit money, give money to anybody who is wealthy in order to have them run some sort of foundational program to do some benefit to society. They can give of their own money. That's it. Okay, and I'm not jealous, <laughs> just to make that clear. I, I am not jealous at all. The Lord has provided for me. I'm not concerned about this. I'm trying to make sure that our people are not tricked, deceived, and cheated by these people. That's what I'm trying to make sure of. Okay. Now, there's a, there's a phrase called, I'm a self-made millionaire. There's no such thing, okay? There's no such thing as a self-made millionaire, a self-made wealthy, all right? Proverbs 22 and 2. The rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. The Lord is the maker of them all. Okay? Verse 20, uh, Proverbs 10 and 22. The blessing of the Lord, Yahweh, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow to it. Now, if you become a celebrity, and you get wealthy, and then you get taken out of celebrity because... The people in control, to control you are saying, I don't want you anymore, I don't need your services, then guess what just happened, okay? Some sorrow has been added to your little situation, and therefore, something was wrong, okay? Now, things, things happen to uh, people who don't have all this wealth as well, and people need to search out the reason for that. Search out why you're going through financial problems, search out why you're going through medical problems, find out why you're going through social problems with your family, okay? You need to figure out why that is. And a lot of it has to deal with the fact that our people refuse to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments in the faith of Hamashiach Yahweh Yahushua. Because if we follow these laws, we would have these, these um, dysfunctional families. We would have these men and women, husband and wife relationship issues. We wouldn't have these problems. But we do because we refuse to follow the law. Okay, final words, all right? It is obvious, it should be obvious to you, all right, by now, that the focus in this country is always upon the so-called black people. They need us to be distracted, okay? They need us to be distracted, okay? Consistently representing negative images of both our men and women to the world. You see that? How they doing it? All your rap females are horrible. All of them are horrible and detestable. All right, all your male rap artists before that and the ones that are doing that, they're all horrible and detestable. Okay, they are, they're horrible. They're horrible people and they're doing horrible things. They're evil people and they're doing evil things. Shaking your behind, showing your behind all the time is not right. It's, it's wicked, it's not holy. It ain't righteous, it's wicked and unrighteous and ungodly and detestable and despicable. <laughs> okay, Lord have mercy. Mm -mm. Okay, now what this does, okay, a, a people divided cannot stand together. And we're not going to stand together on this side anyway. The so-called blacks, Latinos, Spanish Native Americans are not going to stand together. The Israelites are not going to gather together on this side. It's not going to happen. 
That is reserved unto the Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. That is the only one that's going to bring the 12 tribes together. No man is going to do it. All right, so we have to suffer. Whatever it is the Lord has allowed us to suffer on this side, okay, on this side, and we're not going up there. He's coming down here, okay? He's, he's coming down here to reside with the Israelites, all right? The Gentiles will eventually benefit from that, but before that, they have to be set to follow the law and statute commandments just like we are. Okay? Our, many of our people, two-thirds of our people are prophesied to die. So all of our people ain't getting into heaven. So how do you think that you can be a Gentile or so-called Christian or whatever uh, race and think you're getting in? The Lord don't want everybody. As much as you might like to think the opposite, the Lord does not. Okay, the only way out of this celebrity deception and the controllers of those celebrities is to realize that our people have to have uh, who our people are, Salakia. So we have to recognize who our people are to choose the Israelites and accept the mandate to do what the Most High told our forefathers to do. And what did he tell our forefathers to do? Deuteronomy chapter 10, verses 12 through 17. For now, Salakia, so and now, Yisrael, this is the proclamation that the Lord has ma is making again to you today. All right, and now, Yisrael, what that the Lord, thy power require thee. This is what he requires. But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve him. And now, this is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Yisrael, what does the Lord thy power require of thee? This is what he requires. But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart, all thy mind, and with all thy soul, all your body, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. It's a question whether you're going to do it or not. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord's thy power, the earth also, and all that therein is. Only the Lord had delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. And we had, that, that was back then. Now we're in a bad situation. This is verse 16. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart or your mind, and be no more stiff-necked. For the Lord your power is a power of powers, and Lord of lords, a great power, a mighty, and a terrible. That means he's to be feared and to be respected, which regardeth not persons. Okay, he judges all men, Gentile and the chosen people, nor taketh reward. He does not take bribes, okay? So hopefully you have un you come to an understanding after all of this scripture and all of this proof that your celebrities are here to trick you and to be your gods, okay? All your celebrities, whether they're actors, actresses, whether they're in sports, uh, all the social media, okay? They are meant to deceive you. They try to, one day they try to get you to buy products or services. All right, some people behave like them. That's the last thing you need to do. All right, do what you're supposed to do. Don't behave like somebody else. All right, imitate this. Imitate obedience to the laws, statutes, and commandments in the faith of Moshe Yahushai. How about be stiff-necked for the law instead of stiff-necked against the law? Then maybe, maybe the Lord will have mercy upon you, all right, and give you this, under, this proper understanding, and then give you some mercy in this life, in this, in this wicked world. Because this world is full of wickedness. Everywhere, all over. So, I leave you in the most capable hands of the Most High Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai.